Hello everyone, let's take a look at NPC Spawner, which is a new component for RPG Builder I just created. And as you probably understood with the name, this is what you're going to be using to spawn NPC in your world. So uh, they are represented by this uh, blue sphere or gizmo in the scene, just so that you can easily remember where they are. And when you select one, um, you see that there is this component on it. And it's actually very simple, like there are not many uh, values to uh, assign for now. So you have uh, different choices. The first one is endless. So as you can imagine, it means uh, this is going to keep spawning NPCs forever. Count lets you choose a certain amount of time it should spawn NPCs. And once, of course, you know, it will only spawn once. Uh, the spawning enabled. Uh, if this is off, it's not going to spawn anything. So could be useful or you could just disable the script also but um yeah that's here if you need it and then you might wonder how do you actually choose what is getting spawned uh this is what this list is for so the npc prefab list uh, lets you decide exactly what is spawned so in there you can simply um drag and drop one your one of your npc so you see here for example we have the mage you can just drag and drop it on the list like so and now we have the uh, human mage and human warrior uh, on the list and if we now go in game um it will be you know uh spawning those units uh you can also save those as a new prefab if you wanted so for example mage and uh, warrior and we could um why not save it as a prefab so th so that you don't have to um redo the settings every time and you can just drag and drop one here and let's just put it next to the other one um let's go to the main menu let's get in game and see um what happens so uh we were next to um the spawn points so we got aggroed right away and you can see that it spawned one warrior and one mage. So it's a great example to show that um, it was random. So let's kill them so that we can see uh, them respawn. All right, so the mage is dead. Warrior is not. Let's kill the warrior now. Now it respawned a warrior. And it respawned another warrior. So that was it for this video. I hope you like it. I think it's a very easy component to use, uh, nothing complex, and it's just doing the job um, as expected. So let me know if you have any suggestion for it. If you have any question, as always, hop in the Discord and uh, let me know. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.